How's it going everyone? It's David here and I am back here for Phantom Fall Fest here at Kennywood. Only this time I'm here in the daytime for their family friendly portion of the event. I uh, really can't wait to go in and see all of the decor this time in the daylight uh, as well as get on uh, some of my favorite rides and even sticking around into the evening to do uh, some more haunted houses and scare zones. So uh, let's go in and try to have some fun. Just rode Ghostwood Estate and great news, they now have new guns and a new targeting system inside. Uh, I found it actually a lot easier to shoot, albeit uh, it seems to be a little slower than it used to be, but uh, the targets now uh, light up whenever you hit them and uh, the scoring system also seems to be in check. Uh, and the pre-show with uh, Lord Kenneth Ghostwood is back up and running, so it's really good to see Ghostwood Estate open the way it's intended. Welcome, welcome. Do come in. I've been waiting for you. Please gather around so everyone can hear. Welcome, guests, to Ghostwood Estate. My name is Lord Kenneth Ghostwood. And I built this house as a refuge for myself centuries ago. After my death, many other occupants have come, but none have left. The house is now extremely overcrowded with spirits, and I desperately need your help to get rid of them. I will provide you with a transportation buggy and a ghost blaster. Your job is to blast as many spirits as possible to help me regain my solitude. Beware that the spirits will hide behind targets. Aim at the targets and you will find the spirits. There will be four of you in a buggy and you will compete against each other. The one with the highest score at the end will have a special invitation to spend eternity with me. Please remember to stay seated at all times and keep your arms and legs inside the car. If the buggy should stop for any reason, please remain seated and wait for my instructions. I would not want to alert the spirits to your location. Thank you for your help. Now please, exit towards the back. Good luck and happy hunting.
I've mentioned this before, but currently the Thunderbolt is closed for the remainder of the season. It's getting a lot of track work done and it is also getting repainted. But I don't know about this crew, they look a little dead on the job. for a whale of a good time, this is the place to be. Whale, 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 what do we have here? Right here it's rocking. Yeah, it's rocking.
Thomas gift shop has a big sale going on. Steelers Country is closed and the Steelers merchandise from the pro shop is 30% off here in front of the racer. going to do it here from Kennywood's Phantom Fall Fest. Uh, so in the daytime there were some nice decorations but uh, just coming back from uh, Idlewild's Halibu from last week it definitely felt like a downgrade. Uh, now luckily when night rolled around it felt just like Phantom Fright Nights and that's really where they shine. Family friendly event even when it was Happy Hauntings and now Phantom Fall Fest. Uh, it is a little bit of a letdown. It is kind of cool though that most of the major attractions are open in the daytime and some of them are only open in the daytime including the whip and the turtle. So I saw more purple paint on the Phantom's Revenge. I'm really excited when that's all done. 
So one of the highlights of the day was actually getting on Ghostwood Estate with uh, the return of the pre-show and the new gun system. That was really, really nice. Uh, also, uh, when it turned into the haunt, I got to finally walk through the Mortem Manor Estate Sale Scare Zone. I missed that the last time I was here, and that was a really nice little scare zone. Unfortunately, uh, it was very, very crowded in the evening. Not so much in the day, but it was very crowded tonight. Um, most of the haunted house lines were one to two hours long. Actually didn't get through any of them tonight. But uh, that's okay, I did get through all of them, and I will, and I already have a video from opening night where I went in, ranked, and reviewed all of the haunted houses for Phantom Fall Fest. Uh, one thing I wanted to note that when I was leaving the park, there was a lot of families with little kids, scared little kids at that. Uh, please remember that when you come here with your kids, that it is family friendly in the afternoon, but at six o'clock, and they really mean at six o'clock, it turns into a haunt event, and they pretty much uh, transform the entire park, and uh, they don't hold back, too. I mean, I love that kind of stuff, but I definitely saw some scared kids and even some frustrated parents walking around, so uh, just to take note of that when you do come here. Still had a good time, and uh, we'll probably come out at least one more time before uh, the event is ended. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more content. And with that being said, thank you all for riding, and I'll see you next time.